Good morning, all you beautiful people. I want to share with you my latest project. As you might have seen in a thumbnail, it is a pop filter for my Siren Mini. Like all my designs, it's pretty quick to assemble. I'll just lead you through it here. Now, there's going to be people that say, why did you build this? Why didn't you just buy one? You know what? It's just fun. Take a three millimeter nut, throw it in. This is the back ring. Of course, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff because I always do. Then take the front ring. There's a little nut inside. Put that one in. That one's a little tighter. Made that way on purpose. And now just to assemble it, put it across. Gravity still works. It's a beautiful thing. Then use my M3 eight millimeter screws. I just like to start them up here. And yes, that one's going to give me a hard time, isn't it? Oh, I, I knew it. Start that guy up, start then move on to the other side. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Now the way this is designed, you kind of want the middle of the pop filter to be over your uh, microphone pickup here. So I tried to make it, you know, as long as I can, just a little bit under the light there. Probably can't see that. I really need to, well, I live in a really old house, so lighting is an issue. But you know what? When you got my looks, that's an advantage. So screw this up, tighten this down. Now this is made a slightly smaller than the base. So when you tighten this way down, you actually get a really nice fit. Okay, there you go. Now once you're happy with uh, how tight that is, we can move on to assembling the ring. And you know what? All I did is take a piece of material, and this is from an old sock. I don't like wearing dress socks anyways. Before you tighten it up fully, adjust it to where you want it. And I just realized I put this on backwards. So the secret seems to be to put this down on the ground, stretch the material out, and then slowly work it around like this. Make sure you keep the elastic band from going over the lip and just slowly roll it around. Keep pressure downwards as well with this one, one finger so that the back doesn't slide out. Seems to work so far. And of course, once that's on, you have this nice and tight. You could probably put a couple more uh, bands on here or a zip tie to keep it tight. Cut this off, and it's time to install. Put this in. M3 by 12. Put it up to the area you want it at. You'll notice it's almost right in the middle from where I'm talking, and I like it there. Well, maybe I'll put it forward just a tad. And that's all she wrote. Anyways, that's all there is to it. I'm going to have a little bit of fun on this project. I'm going to try different materials, see how well they work. And you know what? I encourage you guys to try it as well. Lastly, I am a small YouTube channel. So send me a like if you had a little bit of entertainment with uh, this video. 
It really does help me get noticed by YouTube. And as always, stay smart, stay safe. And in this case, cheers. Oh fuck, that's good.